All right, I want to show how to bring in some scan data uh, and then use it to uh, cut parts with. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have in your add-ins, you know, which is in the tools add-ins uh, folder, that you have scan to 3D uh, turned on. Uh, and then I'm not going to do this because it takes it, it'll sit there and spin while uh, it's waiting to find those add-ins. I've got it turned on. Um, but that's Tools, Add-ins, Scan to 3D. All right, so I'm just going to start a new file uh, here. And then uh, I'm going to come to File, Open. And I'm going to set this to Mesh. And you'll you only see this when you have the Scan to 3D turned on. Uh, and then browse to a um, an OBJ file or STL or whatever other Mesh formats that it supports. And it's quite a few. Uh, there, so uh, you, know, you you can uh, use quite a few different uh, scan data formats, but OBJ is pretty universal, so this is what I'm using. So I'm going to open that, and this is uh, this is a piece I pulled from uh, you know, an existing model, but uh, it you know it, it's it's a mesh, um, so and that's how it, how it, what it treats it as. So what we want to do is turn this into a surface that SolidWorks could use to cut apart from, or you could even, uh, you know, if you worked it right, you could even, say, uh, make some more surfaces around this and turn it into a solid. Uh, so first thing I want to do is here under my tools, go to my scan to 3D, uh, and then turn on my surface wizard and pick the mesh. And then uh, from here I want to proceed to next and then I want to go to Automatic Creation, and then Next. That's so what it's doing is it's picking, you know, it's got this level of surface detail, uh, and then you can update uh, this to kind of see what you're getting. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to let it generate the patches. You can see that it's generating a few here that, uh, you know, it's got some errors in it. So what I may want to do is let me try lowering the uh, detail a little bit first uh, and updating. Let's see if we can get that to drop out. If not, there's sometimes you can fix things. Yeah, that's not bad there. Uh, so I'm going to let that uh, run. That's that's uh, you know, kind of pulled that uh, up there kind of out of the way. But um, it'll ask when you go to next, so do you want to uh, delete those surfaces or or not. Um, in some cases you may want to say yes uh, and just let it take those out and then you can uh, fix them. Uh, and I'll show you what I'm talking about uh, here. So once I've got this surface then I could uh, start say a filled or, or sorry a lofted or boundary surface. Lofted I've, I have found works a little bit better than uh, boundary in most of these cases but you know, whatever works. So I'm gonna pick that edge uh, and then that and that edge, uh, and let's see. Let me, okay, yeah, I see what's happening here. These are yeah, these are kind of crossed. So I don't think this thing's going to work anyway, uh, like that. But that's okay. Most of this is out of, up out of the way uh, of this. If it's not, uh, what you need to do is back in that surface wizard, uh, lower or or you kind of pull. Sorry, pull to the right, increase the surface detail, and it'll give you a little bit more. Um, uh, fine grain patch, you know, these pieces will be smaller. So, all right, so uh, I'm just going to get out of this. Now let's make a piece that uh, uh, I can use to uh, do a test with. So uh, here on my front plane, we're just going to start a sketch. And let's see, let's make a center line. And then make that construction. Make some more lines. And mirror these guys. Let's bring this one down a little before I do. A little more room in there.
Oh. <laughs> My wife has set up the smoke alarm. Let me pause this. Oh, okay, I think she's gotten it. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen on the Tim video. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. Let's pick these guys uh, and fill with those. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's increase that. Maybe a bit more. Um, yeah, we'll see how that does. Actually, that's probably a bit much. Right, so now I've got a uh, sketch there. I'm just going to make a part. You know, obviously you will use your, your part, but um, I'm just going to pull this till it comes through. Grab it. On this side of it, well, that thing is just not cooperating, is it? There we go. And let's put a little bit of uh, taper on that. Maybe not quite so long. All right. Um, so then, uh, from here, uh, you could insert, cut with surface, and uh, let's pick our surface there. Uh, say okay, and just make sure the direction is going the right way. And so yeah, it looks like I did a pretty good job of cutting it. Uh, so let's hide this guy. Yeah, and you can kind of see in there. Let's turn on our edged faces. See how that looks. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. See if we can fill it at some. Hmm. Looks like it's wanting to do something. It might be a bit much for it. Let's get a little bit smaller. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And so, yeah. Oh, I, I think what you could do you know, is maybe in, either increase the um, uh, fidelity on that surface wizard, uh, or um, you know, then come in and, and uh, you might be able to repatch uh, some of it to get it you know, doing what you want. But this, this to me seems like a, you know, a little bit more straightforward and not quite so faceted uh, method of uh, getting the uh, surface detail. In fact, let's bring that thing back out. Uh, see how well we're actually fitting on that. It actually looks pretty good. Looks like we might be getting a little... Okay, this is where you... Look, maybe a little bit of poke through uh, on there. So it's... Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's getting a little bit of poke through, so we probably want to increase the fidelity of that uh, um, surface on the surface wizard. All right, I hope this helps.